Hey everybody, Josh from Populi. When I'm out in the world, say buying the week's groceries at a gas station convenience store bodega and I walk up to someone and say, I work for Populi, and then explain what Populi is, that random stranger never seems very interested. But in this video, I'm talking to people who actually care about what Populi is and what it does, and they wanna learn more and I think that's really beautiful. This video is a part of a kind of loose series we're doing as a general intro to Populi. Roles are probably the most basic concept in Populi, so it makes sense to start here. As we add in other intro videos, we'll include them in the description of this one. We're not gonna cover every aspect of every role in the video. We have an article in our knowledge base that gets into details about each role you can find that link down in the description as well. Let's get right into it. Roles are one of the major concepts you'll need under your belt. Pretty much everything you see and everything you can do when you log into Populi is controlled by the roles that you have. Broadly speaking, a role gives you access to a specific part of Populi. So if you get the registrar role, you get access to academics, this place that contains academic terms and the course catalog and all that. If you get the admissions role, you get access to admissions. And then you can go to the leads table and see applications and so on. But then it also controls what you see when you go to a person's profile. Academic admins can see things on a profile that admissions admins can't and vice versa. These roles, what they can see, what they can do, those are baked into Populi and they aren't customizable. So for example, the registrar role can edit various course details and settings on course instances. If for some reason you didn't want the registrar role to be able to do that, there's not a way of changing that. Receiving roles like admissions and registrar also gives you the staff role. Whenever you add certain roles to users, they automatically receive that role. It can be assigned just on its own as well, and it gives users basic access to information about people. So when you go to a profile, it would give you access to that person's info tab and various pieces of information there. Most areas of Populi, like academics or admissions, have two different levels of roles. You have a higher level admin role and a lower level role. In academics, the higher level role is academic admin and the lower level role is registrar. In admissions, you have admissions admin, that's higher level, and then admissions, which is lower level. A higher level role can see and do everything that the lower level role can, plus it allows a user access to settings. So let's see what that looks like. Here's how Populi looks to someone with the academic admin role. You can see the settings tab over here. And here's how that same piece of Populi looks with the registrar role, as you can see, no settings tab there. The same thing is true for admissions. Here's how things look with the admissions admin role. You can see here, we've got that settings tab right there. And here's how they look with the lower level admissions role. As you can see, no settings tab. So settings exist for the more exclusive higher level role. You may, perhaps should, have only a couple users with those higher level roles. Settings control more about the behind the scenes function of Populi. In academics, settings is where you create academic years and terms, manage the grade scale, all that sort of stuff. In admissions, settings will be where you design the application form and control details of your inquiry form, etc. So that role distinction enables you to have users who can work in Populi without giving them unfettered access to every aspect of a section, thus preventing the slide into disorder. And of course, it's probably obvious that this means if you have one of those higher level roles, you don't need the lower level role. If you have the academic admin role, you don't need the registrar role, and so on. We've been talking about academic admin and registrar roles that have that distinction, and admissions admin and admissions, but then you also have bookstore admin in a bookstore role, as well as library admin and then the library staff role. Financial roles are a little bit different. You have the financial admin role 
And then the direct subordinate role is student billing. You have the donations role also, which manages a smaller subset of things that the financial admin can do. But then you also have the financial aid role, which enables a user to do things with financial aid that the financial admin can't do. And we have other roles that we won't spend more time on here, except for a couple of read-only roles, the academic auditor and financial auditor roles. Those are both roles that you might give to someone who's just doing a little bit of work, needs to see records in Populi. So say you have an accreditor come in, they need to check up on your academic stuff, you might give them the academic auditor role. Or if you have a team come in to do a financial audit, you might give members of that team the financial auditor role so they can get in there and see data, but they can't actually add or edit anything. Let's look at how you actually grant roles. In general, anyone who has a role can grant that role to someone else. But don't worry, this isn't true of the student role. Students are not going to be going hog wild granting people the student role. It's also not true of faculty and teaching assistant roles, but if you have the staff role, you can grant the staff role to another user. It's also the case that some roles can grant roles that they don't actually have. Like the academic admin role can grant the admissions role, the advisor role, the faculty role, and several others as well. So let's say that this academic admin wants to give a new instructor the faculty role. They can do this as they add the instructor's profile. So if we go to contacts and then people and then click add a new person, put in this person's name here and then choose the role right over here. And we'll choose faculty there. And then when we add person, that person will end up with that role down there. Of course, you can also manage this on an existing profile. You go to the profile and then over on the left, you'll see either add or edit roles as an option. You can add multiple roles at the same time. So you can go there and then just choose to make this user faculty and then we'll add that. And then also an advisor, we'll add that and then save. Now this user has both of those roles and there you can see that edit roles option shows up once they have roles there. And of course you can also get rid of roles. Your options for disabling roles are removing them completely or just marking them inactive. Deleting a role potentially removes information about that role as it relates to the profile. So in some situations it makes sense to delete the role like if you give the academic auditor role to someone who's gonna be poking around during an accreditation visit, you can probably just delete that role. But if Barbara, your registrar for the last decade, retires, you might wanna keep as much information about her activity in Populi as you can. So in this situation, you can just inactivate her roles. We go to click edit roles, and then we just uncheck the boxes here to inactivate. Obviously you can delete using the trash can icons there. Once those are unchecked, we can then save and then voila, you can see that these are inactive roles. It's been great, Barb. We hope you enjoy this opportunity to spend more time with your followers on Twitch. Barb is an avid video game streamer. One more thing, this is about granting student roles. You may have situations where you grant the student role manually. But be aware that if you're using Populi admission stuff, students will usually receive the student role as part of that process. When a student's accepted, the admissions team can choose to give them the student role. So they choose to do that here. They set it to accepted and then add student role is one of the options right there. And then they save. Now that applicant has the student role. It's good to be aware of that so you don't get stuck thinking you have to manage that role manually. Here's a little roles tidbit. Who has which roles? Obviously, if you want to know which roles a given person has, you can find out real easily by going to the person's profile and then have a look at the roles right there. But if you're sitting there going, 
how many academic admins do I have and who in the world are they? You can get that too. Up in search, pop in the role name. I'm gonna look for an academic admin and then I'll click on that result. You can see it's a role result there. And then it takes me here to this section in contacts here and I can see who has the academic admin role on that list. Hey, that's pretty cool. Do you wanna dig deeper and get more value out of Populi for your school? Join our Discord server. It's where Populi users can ask each other questions and capitalize on community knowledge. If you wanna become a part of that community, go to help and Populi and open a support request with the subject Discord invitation request will set you up. There's more information in the Discord video linked in the description below. I've been Josh for Populi and you've been great. Thanks for watching.